We do begin with startling new details about Gabby Petito's final days. A search warrant is executed by armed FBI agents at Brian Laundrie's parents' house in Florida as a 911 call that led police to confront this van life couple is made public. All while Gabby was originally reported as the aggressor in that police dispute. This witness tells a very different story now. I'd like to report a domestic dispute. A witness outside of the Moonflower Co-op in Moab, Utah, is noticeably concerned about Gabby Petito's safety in this shocking 911 call. We drove by and the gentleman was slapping the girl. He was slapping her? Yes, they ran up and down the sidewalk. He proceeded to hit her, hopped in the car, and they drove off. The concerned caller reports that Gabby was the victim of assault by her fiance, Brian Laundrie, in the August 12th dispute. But the police dispatch to the scene just minutes later hear a very different story. What's going on? How come you're crying? been fighting this morning. Some personal issues. In this report, Gabby is named as the aggressor because she admitted to slapping Brian. I was trying to get him to stop telling me. So why the discrepancy? Child safety advocate John Walsh believes Gabby was manipulated by Brian to lie to the police. I've been involved in domestic cases, domestic abuse cases forever. She was scared to death in that video. In Northport, Florida, armed FBI agents swarmed the Laundry family home, executing a search warrant for any computers or hard drives relevant to the case. Authorities also take away Brian's Ford Mustang, the last vehicle that he was seen driving. Brian drove that Mustang to the Carlton Reserve on September 14th, reportedly to clear his head on a hike. His parents drove the car back to their home two days later, 24 hours before they admitted to the FBI their son was missing. Also included in that search warrant, Gabby's final text and odd message to her mother, Nicole. On August 27th, Gabby writes, can you help Stan? I just keep getting his voicemails and missed calls. Stan is Gabby's grandfather, but her mom says she never called him by his first name. An autopsy is underway on the human remains found in Wyoming's Bridger Teton National Forest. Still, the nation waits for forensic confirmation if the 22-year-old has tragically been found dead and what may have caused her death. Meanwhile, the search for Brian Laundrie, still the only person of interest in the Petito case, has resumed at the Carlton Reserve. Now, it's been one week since he went missing. Of course, we will continue to bring you the latest developments as soon as they are made available in this case. And stay tuned because these details are fast moving.